Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Yasser. I'm a Microsoft MVP. I do lots of videos in YouTube on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management application. I have also recently launched a course on Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management. This particular course is right now live on dynamics365lab.com. The link is in the description. The speciality of the course is all the aspects of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management is covered in one single course. That is, this course covers the supply chain management related modules, finance management related modules, advanced warehouse management related topics, the advanced accounting they call it as like the projects and accounting related modules and even fixed assets related topics is just covered in one single course. It's very rare to find such a course in internet where one course covers everything you do is definitely worth checking it out so with that note let's jump into today's topic of the day which is on physical and financial inventory a lot of people in the personal dm and even in, as a comment to my youtube videos they do uh, suggest a topic to discuss which majority of those topics are around inventory values, inventory revaluation, running average cost price, FIFO, LIFO, all that concepts, they would like me to elaborate those concepts in a simple and easy to understandable manner, right? So we are going to do that in a series of videos which are yet to come. So today as a first topic, which is the basics of everything that we are going to uh, discuss is going to be the physical inventory value and financial inventory value especially among the beginners in the supply chain management area there is a lot of misunderstandings on the terminology the physical inventory value and a terminology the financial inventory value right so we are going to make sure we learn it really well and in a very simple and easy to understandable way today so let's jump into the application and start doing the demo. So um, before getting into the demo, so as I mentioned before, the beginners from especially supply chain management do have some questions in this area. Example, this is the warehouse, right? Let's say I am raising two purchase orders, one and two, and purchasing two different goods, two different spare parts into my warehouse. They are coming in boxes. They are right now in my warehouse. Now, these spare parts, the items which are sitting in my warehouse, then what is the physical inventory value, right? Um, sorry, this one. So, some of them feel that this is physically in the warehouse. So, maybe that is what represents the physical inventory value. And every single stock that sits in the inventory do have a dollar value the money component involved with it and that dollar value is the financial inventory that's what they think right but that is not the right thing so when i say physical inventory value i'm not representing the physical inventory stock right the physical inventory that is the the actual physical stock the concept of that is totally different and here I'm talking about the physical inventory value right so both in this particular case the physical inventory value and the financial inventory value they do represents the dollar value of the inventory so now the second question is if they both represent the dollar value of the inventory then what is really the difference between the physical inventory and financial inventory so if you are a beginner, probably you might also have that question in your mind, especially those folks who are from the supply chain area. I hope I read your mind voice, right? So let us um, try to get into this topic and discuss this uh, in detail. Okay. So to support this particular topic, to keep it simple, I'm going to uh, imagine a scenario of a purchase order, right? Like how we purchased two items in two different purchase order. Let's assume that the first item is a part of this purchase order where I'm going to purchase 10 quantity of the item and those items, each of those items are valued at $100. So 10 quantity times 100. So $1,000 worth of stock is what we are going to right now purchase from a vendor, right? So 
After doing this purchase, let us try to explore what do we mean by physical inventory value and financial inventory value. So <clears throat> let okay. Before that, I have actually created a new item, brand new item in the system. I'm going to assume that I'm purchasing this particular spare part. So let me copy the item number. So if I go to the on hand inventory, I do see there is no line in the on hand inventory, meaning this is a brand new item. There's no transaction for this item, right? So let us just quickly go and uh, put a purchase order for that warehouse. And add that item that we just copied. And let's say I'm going to purchase 10 quantity, which is totally the net amount is $1000 of that particular item. Let me save the purchase order. So as soon as I save the purchase order, we'll also parallelly review the on hand. So here, if I refresh it, it creates a line automatically, right? So here, it also brings ordered in total is 100, sorry, 10 because 10 is a quantity in my purchase order, right? So one more thing, it's also an opportunity for me to introduce a screen where I will click on that and I'll go to that screen. So this is a very interesting screen guys. Let's move back and forth between this screen and the purchase order. So now you see the ordered in total is 10, available for reservation is 10, total available is 10, adjusted quantity is 10. This is what I was representing before physical inventory value and financial inventory value. They are all blank, right? So now let us go and confirm the purchase order. Let us receive the purchase order. Okay, I'm posting the product receipt. So the vouchers which gets now posted, they are also called as physical voucher. Okay, just remember that because they all represents the, the physical cost, right? Like, let me explain you in detail. So let us go back to the on hand uh, side. So if I now refresh, now you see that order in total is moved to available physical and now it is also physical inventory right because the inventory of that particular uh, uh, item is 10 now because i have received the item and uh, now it's available for reservation total available right so now it is moved to physical inventory right so the one very important thing for which we are doing the whole scenario is at the bottom right now you see that the thousand dollars is parked as physical inventory cost so any physical update I do on a specific part, meaning I have only physically updated the part, meaning it's called as a physical voucher, which is basically the product receipting. And now this particular product receipt transactions actually behind the scene is going to be parked in an interim account, right? So it's actually going to be uh, debited to my asset account but it's a temporary asset account which will later be reversed back and it will be then posted to the actual inventory account when I financially update it. What do I mean by financially updating a particular item is when I post the invoice for this particular purchase order. Until I post the invoice for this particular purchase order it is when I receive them it is actually called as I am physically updating that particular item. So the voucher that gets created out of it are all called as physical voucher. The financial voucher will now be posted when the physical voucher gets reversed and the financial voucher gets posted, right? So about that particular voucher, etc. We have already discussed in detail in this course. So watch all my previous videos so you will understand that, that element. But for now, let's just focus and remind in the topic, which is physical inventory and financial inventory. So right now, I have $1,000, which is my uh, physical cost. And since I haven't physic financially updated, meaning I haven't posted any invoice for the purchase order, this is blank, right? 
um, and at the bottom here there is this cost price which is called as 100 right so what is this so the system picks the physical cost amount which is 1000 and it divides it with 10 which is the total quantity that is available in the inventory so 1000 divided by 10 is going to be 100 so the 100 now actually represents the average cost price per item right so this particular field here that represents 100 is actually called as running average cost price of that particular item so the running average cost is calculated based on the physical cost divided by total amount in the inventory right so let us now go back and um, financially update this purchase order uh, post it after posting it go back let me wait until it posts go back let's refresh it so you see that the physical cost is now moved into the financial cost so all the cost related with the item that is in the inventory is now completely physical financially updated so the physical cost is gone and financial cost is now thousand dollars so again the running average cost price of that particular item is 100 no changes because anyway it's again going to be thousand dollars divided by 10 is going to be 100 so now let us uh, introduce another uh, uh, purchase order so which means that i am now going to purchase another batch of the same item this time i'm going to purchase from another vendor so it's going to cost me slightly different little more higher right 120 dollars so let us um, purchase the item again let me choose another vendor same warehouse so click and uh, let's pick the item number and let's purchase 10 quantity this time it's going to be 120 so that's good save it go back and uh, let's refresh it we'll see that 10 again so available for reservation is 20 this time physical inventory is 10 but let us uh, but still the physical cost is not yet updated because they uh, come into picture only when we receive the item let's confirm purchase order receive the purchase order and accept it okay so now going back so i'm going to hit on refresh and you will see that the physical cost is updated so you see even the physical inventory is here and the physical inventory cost inventory value is here here it is going to be thousand two hundred dollars and it is this one is thousand dollars and here the running average cost is one ten dollars right so the the running average is um, let me see how it is becoming one ten so uh, this too right the oops the physical inventory is 1200 the financial inventory is 1000 so total is 2200 right uh, divided by 20 so that that is 11 so it's 110 right so 
that's how that we get the average right so in this just keep one thing in the mind we will come back to this topic again but in this particular scenario the cost running average cost price calculated based on physical cost sorry physical cost financial cost together divided by 20 so it also including the physical cost just because of the fact that if i get into the item right within that particular item what i'm trying to point is i'm trying to get into the items item model group and in the item model group uh, which is this one there is a parameter which says include physical value right this parameter is enabled and that's the reason why the the running average cost price calculation also includes the physical cost right we will come back and discuss that later but for now it's very important for us to firstly understand the concept of physical cost financial cost that's the agenda of this video but we will explore everything later right so this is going to be now the new running average cost of that particular item and this running average cost is very very important concept because if at all there are any issue transaction maybe in the future let's say i have a sales order and i'm going to sell it off to a customer one of this product then that particular project will de get detecting from the inventory based on the running average cost value okay so we will come back to that concept later but for now let us proceed further so right now i have this um, uh, this particular um, purchase order right so let me invoice this particular purchase order so post it oh sorry i should uh, key in the so post it so now what happens I go back refresh I'll see that everything is here and it's still the same because right now even now the calculation remains the same right of course this varies based on the parameter over here we will explore that later but this is how the running average cost works and the concepts of FIFO LIFO everything will also come into picture later for example if I go to the um, this one right um, there is also a lot of misconception when i say inventory valuation model is fifo it doesn't mean that uh, when this item comes first and this item comes first i'm talking about this goes first right this is actually not like a FIFO. this fifo is controlled based on the batch numbers and uh, first come first expiry date algorithms etc that we also find within the um uh, within here right fifo um first expiry date first out right so these are all the things which actually controls the concept of physical movement of first come first serve or fifo but the fifo here in the inventory evaluation model means that it is representing the valuation of the inventory again right so this is another misconception that a lot of beginners have right so we will discuss about all of this and all of these topics which are complicated topics they are all covered already in a very very simplified way in my course in dynamics 365 lab.com the link is in the description do subscribe to it if you wanted to learn all of this topic in a simple way today but if you can wait those topics will also be made available in this particular youtube channel in a frequent interval guys so thank you for watching this video and for all your support see you in another video with a similar topic until then bye